Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. As well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I have a yummy, licious afghan for you today. It's the Waves and Leaves. It's a stunning, stunning fall afghan here. So what it is is a combination of waves and then there's pop off uh, clusters here that look like leaves and I just think this is absolutely stunning. So you'll need an eight millimeter size L crochet hook today. There's a stitching diagram and we will cover that as well and uh, give you some extra little tips. So this is a really amazing pattern. It's only a two pager and once you see this diagram I think you're off to the races. So without further ado let's begin and we want to change our sizes just in case the designer has left that for us. It's in multiples of 15 plus 18. So 15, 15, 15 and when you're satisfied with the width of this remember it is a wave so you have to make it longer than you realize. You just have to add on 18 more chains after that. So without further ado let's begin and let's start this particular project. So here's a close up of the diagram. This is what we're going to be following and once you see the repeat it's just a repeat of two rows. One and two once you get to this level. So we have to get ourselves in a setup row. See these red things? Those are called place markers. So, so there's the marker. So we wanna mark those ones there. You may not need to once you get used to this pattern but the designer has left that for you just in case you would like to do that. So what we have here is double treble um, clusters that are making that up and that's what's making it pop and I think it's a really quite a fun blanket. So without further ado let's uh, now grab our yarn and our L size eight millimeter hook and let's play. So let's begin today. I'm using Bernat Symphony L hook eight millimeter is what we're going to be using today. So you can chain 123 uh, 23 if you want the sample but if you want to change the size it's multiples of 15 plus 18. So I'll do a little swatch. So I'm gonna do uh, a multiple of 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So there is one multiple right there. So you have to determine if it's big enough. So I'm only gonna do a swatch. So I'm just gonna say yes, I'm happy with this. This is awesome. So I'm going to add an additional 18 chains uh, in order to get this to work. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So now that I have that I have my multiples of 15 and then I had to add 18 at the end of the chain once I was happy and then we're gonna officially start row number one. So the waves as you noticed in the particular diagram it's not like a point like this. It's more like a just a, a gradual and then it levels off and then it graduals back down. So there is a stitching repeat that you'll notice. So starting in the back hump of the chains when you're going to work across it just looks nicer. Go fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three and go to the fourth and you want to double crochet uh, but two, uh, two together. So you're gonna put that one in and you're gonna pull through two and then you're going to not finish it and go to the very next chain yarning over and double crochet, pull through and pull through two. So now you're going to pull through all of the three there and so those just all become together and you'll see that in the diagram as well. The next one is going to be one double crochet by itself and then the next one has two double crochets into the same one. So we're going to hit the peak and we're gonna level off. So two double crochets into this one. And then the next one's by itself. And then the next one has two in it. Okay, so we've just now made our way up the up the path and now we're gonna level off at the top of the wave. So the next two in a row are each going to be a double crochet. So one and two. So they're two in a row so they have there. So this is the middle of the wave and now we're gonna start making our way down the other side. So the first one is going to be two into the first you'll come to understand this pattern in time. So there's two into that one. So the next one's by itself and then there's two into the next one to get it to turn down more. Ok, 
Okay, the next one's by itself. And then we're gonna do a five double crochet together. Okay, so if you put it down like this, so you can see that it kind of was down and then it went up and then leveled. So now we're going to be in the peak of the next one. So we have to put the next five together as one stitch. So to do that, yarn over and start in the next chain and pull through, pull through two and hold it. And you wanna do that a total of five chains in a row. So I would technically count that for sure. You're starting off and you should have six loops left on the hook by the time you collect all five because the beginning loop is the first one started before you uh, actually began this process of putting the five together. Okay, so you see that there's the five and there's the starting loop so yarn over pull through all of it. And now you're at the, the very base of your wave. So let's uh, review going back up. So the next one is one by itself. And I would remember it this way. So it's one and then the next one has two into the same one. So just um, think about it like the cha-cha dance, like one, two, cha-cha-cha. So you have one and then two and then you have to cha-cha again. So one and the next one has two. Okay, so just remember when you're going up the hill, one, two, cha-cha-cha, one, two, cha-cha-cha. Now you're at the top of the, the wave. So the next two in a row are by itself. And then you're gonna come down the wave. Now when you're coming down the wave, it's just like you did before and then you'll end up with this here and then you'll go back up again. But it, because it's the end, I'm going to be showing you how to do the end now. So we're at the two at the top and now we're gonna come down. So instead of one, two, cha, 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 one, two, cha, cha, cha coming up, you're gonna go two, one, cha, 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 two, one, cha, cha, cha. So the next one has two. I don't know if these memory hooks ever help you. It's what I think about in my head. So two and then one cha 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 and then two and then one is next. And then that's so it's two one cha 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 two one two cha cha cha. So once you get all the way to the other side the very final three stitches here are going to become three together double crochet. So put the first one, gather the second, and grab the third. And then once you have those three, you should have four loops in the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So let's lay this down and you can see the wave action has just begun and it looks just like the sample, kinda looks like a seagull. So you've started and you went up and then down and then up and then down. And you'll continue that all the way across of course. And so just keep an eye on this middle section. So let's begin setup row number two. So let's turn our work and begin setup row number two. It's exactly what we just know. We're just not working with the chain anymore. We're working with the exact stitch. So let's bring you in a little bit closer. So lean in real quick. And we're going to start off and we're going to chain three. So one, two, three. And we're gonna put the next two stitches together. So these here. See this is part of this stitch. So the next two are right there. Okay, so don't confuse this one as a stitch. It's cause it's not. So put the next two together. So with the chaining of three and putting these three together, it's considered three together once you do it. See? And now we're gonna work our way up the hill. So do you remember the dance? So we have one and the next one is two. So we have one, two, Cha cha cha. And then we have another one of one. And then the next one is two. Cha cha cha. Okay, so you did your dance up. Now you have your two middle ones here. So that's gonna flat line at the top. So you're just gonna put two in a row. And then you're gonna do your dance backwards going down the other side. So do you remember what it was? It was two into the same and then one cha 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 and the next one is two 
and one cha cha cha. See? Oh, beautiful. So the next five in a row are going to be this uh, middle valley. So the next five, so just start grabbing them and do five in a row. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then pull those all together. And then start your dance going up in the up direction. So remember what it was. It was the dance going up. So it's one and the next one is two. Cha cha cha. And then one, two, cha cha cha. So we just danced our way up and we're gonna flat line across the, the top. So we're just two, uh, one in the next two. And then we do the dance going backwards, going down the other side. So remember it's two. And then the next one is one, cha cha cha. And then two. And one, cha cha cha. And then finally the last three, it looks like there's more than three but there's not. It's just one here because all those three come together here at the base. So one, two, three, put those three together. And this was setup row number two. So pull through after you see four loops, turn your work and let's begin row number one. And you can see that the wave has really started now and now we're ready to begin the really fun stuff starting. Yeah, let's start in row number one and one and two is the repeat for this whole thing. So as we begin to do uh, row number one and two, one and two is the repeat for the whole thing. So you'll do one and two all the way until you get approximately about 62 inches but you wanna finish off using row number one as the final row for your particular pattern. Okay, so that makes it awesome. So that's what we wanna do. So when we're going up, we're gonna put our three together like we did. So we'll do our dance. One, let's do one dance. So we got one and this is two, cha cha cha. And then the next one is the one and it's gonna come all the way down here. Now you could have placed a stitch marker but I bet you can see it. They're doing it just for your interest here. And we're gonna do a front post, a double treble here and it's a cluster of three of those. So we're gonna put those there and then we're gonna put two into the next. Remember that this one is sitting in front of this one, lonely one right here so that counts as that stitch so it'll, you won't use that stitch. Once you get that done, we'll flat line across the top and then we'll start our dance and one and then we'll do a, a long slow dance all the way back down here to the other side and then we'll start our dance again. So two, one, cha 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 and then put our five. So we start up again. So one going up and two cha 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 and then one is a slow dance all the way down. We're gonna grab it and then we'll finish it off with uh, the two cha 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 and then put two across. Hopefully I'm not annoying you with that analogy but it might actually make sense. <laughs> my, my head is always kind of weird so that's what it is. So let's begin row number one. So let's begin row number one. Let's baffle you with some awesomeness. <laughs> so let's uh, chain up three. So one, two, three and then grabbing the next two. Remember that this one here looks like a stitch but it's not. It's part of this. So you're gonna jump on over and put the next two in with it and then pull through all three loops and there's your three together right at the very beginning. So let's go up and do our dance for one step. So let's do one and the next one is two. Cha cha cha. And now the next one is a one. It's a long slow dance and do you see that there is two that are sitting into the same stitch and you see the two lonely ones? Those lonely ones need a dance partner so that's where we're gonna go. So we're gonna go to the dance partner that is closest to this here. So the other dance partner when you come out will be the other one. So we're going to do a double treble um, a post, a front post cluster. <laughs> so to do that you're going to wrap the hook three times. That's a, a, uh, um, a double treble. So do that and then come into that first one that's all lonely. So do you see it? It's sitting by itself. And you're gonna pull through and then you're gonna pull through two and two and two all the way back up except for don't finish it. You'll do it again. So wrap one, two, three and do the long slow dance down. 
and then coming all the way back up but don't finish that stitch either and do it one more time. So one, two, three and do the slow dance and come down. Once you have all three, so you'll have four loops total, pull through all of it and now that is considered the next stitch that it's sitting in front of. So it's considered the next one. So the one after that is going to have the two in there and that will complete your dance. So one and two. So just peel it out of the way if you don't see it. And so now this is sitting in front. So now you have the two in the middle. Let's flat line across the top. So it's gonna be one and the next one is one. And so then we start with our dance. So we're gonna say, and it's the dance going backwards. So it's gonna be two and then a long slow dance all the way down to the opposite one sitting in front of the other one. Do you see it? It's this one. So wrap one, two, three going around the front post. If you wanna mark it with a stitch marker, go, go for it if it helps you to see that. And you'll do that three times. Wow, the texture on this is just phenomenal. Once you have all three, you can see that, pull through all four loops. And now that's considered the very next stitch if you peel it back. So it's this one. So then you're gonna start in the next one going down. So there will be two. So the dance is backwards. So it's two double crochets. So two. And then the next one is one. Cha, cha, cha. So the next five are in the valley. So you'll do those, put those five together. One, two, three, four, and five. And then pull through. You should see six loops. And then going up. So let's uh, review again. So we're gonna go one is by itself and then the two, cha, cha, cha. And now the one is a, slong, a slow dance. Just peel it back and look for the middle. See that the two there, they're in the same one. So these two in the middle are the ones you're gonna play with. So we're gonna play with the one closest to you. So wrap the hook three times and go in the one closest to you and do that cluster. Wow, this is a great stitch. We try that one again. When in doubt, pull out, right girls and boys. Try it. Third time is a charm. Okay, pull through all four loops once you're ready. So that's classified as the next stitch that it's in front of. So then the next one here, so that was the considered the one, it's the long slow dance and now the next one is two into the same one and that completes off your dance. So cha cha cha. <laughs> okay, so you have your two middle in a row and do you see how this middle kind of matches this one? So you know that you're right. So you put the next two by itself and then you're gonna start going down the other side. So you start the dance going backwards, so two and then the one is going to be a long slow dance all the way down. Now if you get the whole idea of one, two, cha, cha, cha in your head, you're welcome. <laughs> welcome to my brain. Um, I like memory hooks. My mom taught me a lot of stuff in, when I was a kid and it's all about memory hooks so that you can remember better. So once you get your four on there, just pull through. And so that's classified as the very first one coming out. So we go to the next one. So the next one is two. And then one, cha, cha, cha. And then there should be three stitches left which there is. So one, two and all of this here is right there. So then you'll put those final three together. So you go all the way across it obviously you won't do the edge until you get all the way there but if you understand how you're going down through the middle section here it just makes a lot of sense and that's what it looks like. So this texture, it, well you really can't see it on camera but it's awesome. I love it. So you're gonna turn your work and let's re, uh, do row number two. 
So row number two is going to be a little bit easier than what we just did. By this part in the tutorial you'll realize that the you're looking at the back side now. So we've established the right side and the good side. The right side has the, the fun texture. The back side has nothing. So when you're on the back of it you're just gonna do the wave as you know it. So you're just gonna chain up three. So one, two, three and then put the next two with it. So remember that this one here is part of that. So that's not the first stitch. It's the next one over. So put the next two together. And so with that chain three and those two that just becomes three together. So you're gonna do your dance going up. So it'll be one and then two cha 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 and you'll do another dance step there. So one and two cha 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 and then you're at the top. So you're gonna flat line across the top so the next two are by itself and then you're gonna do the dance going backwards going down the other side. So you start off with two and then one cha 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 and then do it again. So two and one cha cha cha. The next five are gonna come together as the bottom of the valley. So one, two, three, four and five and put all that together and then start going up the other side. So you start your dance. So one, two, cha 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 and do it again. So one, two, cha cha cha. So now you're ready for the top. So just put two by itself and then do the dance going backwards. So then start off with two and one cha 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 and then two and one cha 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 and then the last three are going to be in uh, three together. So that was row number two. Pull through and turn your work and so what you've done now is you've just created a space so the next uh, the next uh, clusters will fit into this section right here. So let's talk a little bit about that before we get there. So when you're looking at the diagram here you're going to notice see how it's got a cluster that is attached here. So this particular one right here has nothing. So when you come down and you do it again you're going to notice that it's gonna come in here. So every other row has that cluster grabbing onto. So you'll see that it will kind of puzzle in and it'll make sense once you get there. So just kind of watch for that. So let's just review row number one once again. So let's review number one. So we're gonna do another cluster here and you have to finish on row number one as well. So one, two, three. I'm gonna speed up a little bit and put the next two together. Okay, so then you got your three. So you'll do your dance going up. So one and then two cha 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 and now the next one is the one but it's a slow dance and so what you wanna do is that you wanna look for the same um, kind of row this is in. See these clusters? It's the same row. That's where you're gonna go. So you're going to wrap three times and just go for the two middle ones that are in that row. You'll see them. They're by themselves because the two on both sides have two into the same one. So it's not, they're, they're really hard to miss. Or they're not hard to miss. It's easy. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying. So you put your, make sure you wrap that hook three times. And look how this yarn changes color on its own. Stunning. Okay, so pulling it through and then that counts as the next stitch that it's there and so you'll do the next two which will complete the dance. So it's a long slow dance and then two cha cha cha. So you'll be at the top then, the middle. So do you see how this middle matches this middle? Just follow it straight up. You can see it. So I know I'm on track. So the next two are by itself and then we come down the other side. So we start the dance going backwards. So there's gonna be two and then it's a long slow dance for one and it's the other one in the middle. And it's a front post. 
double treble cluster. Now people have this thing they don't like wrapping the hook more than once but in this case fabulous it looks really amazing. So that's that one done and so that counts as the next one. So we have to complete the dance so the next two are into the same one. So that's two and then one cha cha cha. So that's the dance and now the next five are together. So you'll do that when you hit the valleys. So I'm kind of just keep picking them up until I see six loops on the hook because the five are what we just did and the starting loop. So go up the other side. So do one dance. So one and then two cha 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 and then it's one long slow dance and you're coming and it's the same one as these and it's the closest middle one to you. I wrapped enough. Pull through. So that counts as the next one that it's in line with and so you go to the next one over. So there will be a two into that one to complete the dance and then you're gonna flat line across the top and then start the dance going backwards. So you start off with two and then one long slow dance. Okay, and then pull through all four. So that counts as the next one. So you'll uh, start the next one slow dance. So it's two and then one cha 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 and then finally the last three are together. So it's pretty awesome right? And pull through. So that will then complete off row number one once again and this looks really super amazing. The texture is just phenomenal in this thing. I'm gonna love it. The backside is there. So when you're finished with this you'll finish on row number uh, one which is what I just finished and that's gonna be it. Now if you wanna add the tassels you can use cardboard or a tassel maker if you wish. In order to do that you will use you more yarn if you want tassels and maybe when you're using tassels you may wanna use a way that you can undo the tassels just in case you have to throw this in the uh, to wash but that's up to you if you would like to do the tassels or not. Either way it still looks amazing and this would be the Waves and Leaves Crochet Blanket by Yarnspirations.com. Absolutely phenomenal pattern and I hope that you enjoy it and I can't wait to see what people have for examples for this particular one. Looks amazing.